Hello! Today we're going to make a silver foil and cola print. It's called cola lithography. I'm going to show you how to make multiple prints from one drawing. To do that you're going to need some foil, some cola, card, permanent marker pen, oil based paint and paper to print on. You can use most kinds of card. This is a piece of mount card but you could use a piece of cereal packet. Okay. Now what we want to avoid is getting our fingers on the other side of the plate. That's because greasy marks do actually print and we want to limit those greasy marks. So just fold it okay, nice and tight. Seal together with some tape. And there we have a plate. And what I usually do before we start drawing on it, I do prepare the surface by doing a gentle bit of sanding. It's not always a necessary step, but we are going to include it in this today. Very gently because the foil can tear quite easily. If you've got any bits like that, you might want to just smooth them out. Okay, ready to draw. Now we have the plate, I need to do a drawing. If you want, you can draw straight onto the plate. I recommend a piece of scrap paper or some kitchen roll so that you have something to lean on. Because if you lean on the actual plate, you'll get, you'll get greasy marks on it. Put your pen away and take a little bit of talcum powder and sprinkle it on. Just a little. And dust it. Just to still. And now you're ready for the chemistry. Now we're ready for the wet processing where the real alchemy happens. Now I'd normally do this over a sink, but today I'm going to try and do it in a Tupperware container. Take your plate, hold it at an angle, and then pour on your opened can of cola. One, two, three, four, five. That's all. Make sure you cover the whole surface, then it's very quick. Take it off, pour some water on, Put it on a paper towel or some recycled cloth and then dab it dry with a paper towel. You can use different colours. What you need is phosphoric acid so just check the ingredients on your container. Now for the not so very techy bit, it's based on the principle that oil and water don't mix. Um, and the phosphoric acid changes the surface of the aluminium foil. So let's get that ink onto the plate and let's get printing. Before we ink the plate we're going to clean it with a couple of block bobs of ordinary cooking oil. Thank you. 
it's a great opportunity to smooth down any lines that might have formed in the silver foil. Okay. And now I'm going to show you how to prepare your ink. We're going to ink the plate with some oil paint or oil-based ink. So I've got some oil-based paint. I'm going to squirt some of that onto an ordinary, quite cheap baking tray. You can also use a sheet of glass, a sheet of perspex or an old cutting mat. Okay, so I've put quite a lot of ink there. Probably don't need as much as that. And I'm taking a decorating roller. That's an ordinary for foam decorating roller, just a small one. And I'm going to dip it into the oil paint and roll it. So I'm preparing the ink. What I want is a nice thin layer of oil paint. I don't want it to be too thick like an oil slick and I want to cover the ro whole of the roller so it does take a little bit of rolling. The ink is now prepared and it has a smooth velvety texture so it's ready to roll. I'm going to just place it down for a moment and I'm going to go over to the plate. What I need to bring into the frame is a sponge. A sponge is in a bowl of water. I'm going to take my sponge, I'm going to squeeze it and we'll just squeeze a little bit of water onto the plate. I'm going to take the water and I'm going to spread it across the plate. Okay, the water spread across the plate. And then it's the plate, and now we're going to roll the ink. I'm doing it in one direction. I'm going to go back into the ink. And I'm going to just, I'm just going to clean away some of the bits where I don't want the ink. I'm cleaning that away. making sure there's still a surface of water on your plate and I'm going to roll the ink again. Can you see? You'll see that the ink is collecting onto the lines that you've drawn. And you will find there's a little bit of extra, sometimes you'd, there is, sometimes there isn't, that has accumulated around the edges. That's probably because you've had greasy hands. So I'm just going to clean, but it's alright because you can clean that off with your wet sponge. That will wipe off with your wet sponge. So take off the bits that you don't want. You can leave some of it on because it does add a little bit of texture. And now you're ready to print. Okay. I'm going to take the sponge out of the way. I'm going to take the paper towels out of the way. And we're going to put it on a clean surface. Nice clean dry surface. There we go. Okay, to print, we're going to take your piece of paper. Going to put it on top of the plate. And now I usually like to put a bit of baking sheet over the top. This just protects the outside of your sheet of paper and keeps it nice and clean. Now to print I'm going to use a wooden spoon. To use a wooden spoon I put my hand down in one corner and with the other corner I'm turning the spoon. So the spoon is like this and I'm turning it around, pressing down very firmly and moving across the plate in circular motions. And of course I'm going to have to move the other. So let's have a look how I got on. Okay. 
there we go. And there we are. Not bad. I hope you enjoyed Kona Lithography. As you can see, from one plate you can make many prints. So, why not print, share your ideas, do a print swap, hang some of these in your window. Okay, and so, until next time, bye bye. <laughs>